You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll... We'll find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. <laughs> One, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about med school. Still, 
Over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. But I'm with you and we'll be fine. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right... Around here too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. 
So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Getting you worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. 
They were gonna kill us. They would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Six, seven, eight. 
seconds. The storm's eight miles away. We came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful, don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, old son. Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian go? We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? 
How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us Damn up! Damn asshole! Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone, independent, admirable, possibly foolish. 
we'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Floating death trap. Keep moving. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck.
Watson, il y a une porte ici. OK. All of you. Into the room. fucking place given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship no shit Sherlock you gonna write a book about it quit being a clown Conrad this is serious we can't just sit around we need a plan we're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire or something? You cannot hotwire distributor cap, okay? These assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way... ...out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. What happened here? Why this was ripped off. Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a head. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get that. Great. Of all the places. Not charging us for the damage to your boat? I am now. What do you think this ship was? Real. Real creepy. Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts?
Uh, yeah. I mean, there aren't really ghosts here. Right? Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. We got our hands full already. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. Sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted? Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? The way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. Get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit? Well, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces! Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate pants off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew. Hey, hey. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello?
safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Look at that. I love what they've done the place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. And there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Your guess is as good as mine. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound? Sure. I am so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Huh. Engineer's log. We totally fucked. Oh, this is nice. 
I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. I'm gonna go get it. Now's our chance. Grab it. You gonna watch my back? What do you think I've been doing? Taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Arrête de crier. J'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres.
What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. God, why do I need to see this now? We've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Hey! According to this, today is beef casserole. Mmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. something. He was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me!
Alright, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of your toot sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. This was practically falling off anyway. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents. And they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. What's the matter? Shh. <gasps> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time. Making that sound. Uh, what sound? Oh, why so spick and span? What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Why did you touch it? Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get in some air. Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, and then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. 
कॉनी 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 वर द फक आर यू वेयर इज कॉनराड ही मस्ट हैव गन ऑन द हेड Shout if I want. Connie! Where the hell did he go? tells you don't you stop Fucking place is cursed. Look at this. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! Please, you don't have to do this. Come on. Jesus! That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on a ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about. but we got to keep moving and find Olsen now Olsen merde qu'est-ce que tu fais
C'est quoi ce bordel Is anyone there? <sighs> that can't be a good sign. Jesus, what happened down here? Oh! <sighs> 